Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. My name is Double Tap and Honey here will be covering PC builds, PC hardware and gaming. Today we're doing a review on the Gigabyte 970A DSP3 motherboard for AMD. It's a good mid-range motherboard and you can get the board in different colours so if you're going for a colour theme inside your PC tower this will help you out in a big way because the colours come in a dark brown and grey dark brown and white, dark brown and yellow, there may be others but they're the ones I've come across so you need to check what actual colour you're getting when you buy this. Right then, let's have a look at the box and see what this baby has to offer. Right, as you can see you've got the Gigabyte Ultra Durable 4 which is a new glass fabric PCB, humidity protection, electrostatic power failure, high temperature protection, it also means it has twice of the amount of copper used in other PCBs. All solid capacitators which are made in Japan with a rating of 50,000 plus hours. Dual UEFI BIOS which means you could have a default BIOS as well as a gaming BIOS. It also helps in case there's power surges, things like that. It won't ruin your motherboard. It will cross over to the other one. Right. You have the onboard accelerator times three, that's for charging, etc. You've also got the USB 3, SATA 3. It's AMD, A, sorry, AM3 plus rated, so you can use any AM3 plus CPU, including the FX series. It's got a 9 series chipset, so the 990 FX Northbridge and 950 Southbridge from AMD. Right then, let's have a look at the back. Right, pretty much like on the front, it's going into a bit more detail about your humidity protection, electrostatic protection, power failure protection and high temperature protection. You've got an overlay of what the actual motherboard looks like and it's showing you where all the different parts to it are. Basically the same as the front except it's showing you that it's got an on off charge function so if you were say charging your mobile phone up and you turn the PC off it will still carry on charging. Lower RDS on the MOSFETs. These are 8 pin ones which are a smaller size so it will be cooler and lower temperature rather than the traditional 3 pin sets which are larger so you get a higher temperature. So let's have a look what's actually inside. Right then. Looks like we've got two SATA cables, one with an L bend and yeah, they all have clasps on them. So that's pretty cool. You've got your input output shield. There's a Gigabyte Multilingual Installation Guidebook. So these are really handy to have. There's a user manual. There's a course utilities etc and something that is in French I think <laughs> right then next we'll be having a look at the motherboard and taking it out of its wrapper okay then now we've got this unwrapped you can see it's the brown dark brown and grey design Moving around the board, we've got the CPU fan here, power fan, system fan 1, system fan 2. It also has your AM3 socket, AM3 Plus socket here, which also supports FX, AM3, Phenom 2, and the Athlon 2 series processors. You have your DDR3 4 DIMM slots here that support 32 gigs per channel and as you can see one lot of grey and one lot of black 24 pin power and 4 pin power up here moving down we have got the BIOS 1, BIOS 2 chips there's your front panel here 
USB 3.0, USB 1, USB 2, USB 3, your F audio that's got a high capacity audio with the 108 decibel signal to noise ratio that delivers high performance multi channel HQ audio, the VIA2021 chip here puts out 108 decibels and is a high quality audio spec and really basically what that means is the audio signal is 108 decibels higher than the level of noise. Right then, four USB ports, 3.0 ports with gigabytes, times three USB power, six SATA ports, three ports with RAID supports. Also, you've got your PCI Express slots here. It's got good flexible graphic capabilities that will support here and here two VGA cards with AMD Crossfire that will come with your graphics card and doesn't come with this motherboard. Uh, this also does not support NVIDIA SLI. The first PCI Express slot is times 16 and the second is times 4 bandwidth that will deliver good graphics performance that's great for gaming with high frame rates without bringing down the screen resolution. Like I say, it's a middle of the range motherboard, it costs £70 give or take and if you can find it any cheaper then you're on to a winner. It's got ultra durable Gigabyte 4 technology that's good for DIY PC builders, giving you the best protection for your PC. There are some good features that prevent common malfunctions, good onboard heat sinks that help the CPU because without it you would lose some performance on the chip. I think that is everything on here so let me show you the back and no surprise there that's what that looks like. We also have your keyboard and mouse ports USB ports, you've also got your USB 3.0 port and you've got your LAN port here and here's the usual speakers, microphone etc there. The processor that will be going in this is this AMD FX processor, it's a 6 core pole driver black edition 3.5 GHz with the AMD Turbo Core technology that's let you basically let you push it to the limits of the maximum processor speed with the easy use of the AMD Overdrive and the AMD Catalyst controller. You will be able to see this in action because it's going to be part of an upcoming PC build that I'm going to be doing in the next few days. I'll also be reviewing some other components and the tower etc that will be going into the PC build so you'll be able to see it from start to finish basically and then you'll be able to see the end results which are the different games that I'll be playing on there. This is my first YouTube video so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the couple of cuts I had to make for the simple reason it started to rain where I am so that's about it for this Gigabyte 970A DSP motherboard review. I'm Double Tap and thank you for watching and if you like the video please like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Bye for now.